Now, India has added nearly 79,000 fresh cases to its COVID tally in the last 24 hours, setting a world record. Now, this is the highest single day jump in COVID infections reported by any country since the beginning of the pandemic. In the last 24 hours, 948 deaths have been linked to the highly contagious disease. And also, the number, taking the total number of uh, deaths in this case to over 63,000, about 27 lakh people have uh, recovered so far with a recovery rate at uh, 76.6 percent. The country has been uh, recording over 75,000 cases for the last four days. It recorded its uh, last biggest single day jump going, as you can see on your screen, all the way to over 78,000. Now, if we compare India to the world now, how does it stand? India cases have been increasing at the highest rate compared to the world. Now, if you look at USA over there, it's up by 0.7 percent, Brazil by 1 percent, but India at the moment growing at 2.2 percent. The world total has been a 1.1. So is India at the early stages of a second wave of coronavirus? Well, the latest COVID-19 trends over the last 10 days are worrying, not only for an all India level, but 10 out of the 20 bigger states in India are showing signs of a second surge. And the worrying, the resurgence is seen in those states. We've marked that out on the screen for you. Let's talk about what are these worrying states really. Number one is Andhra Pradesh followed by Assam, Chhattisgarh, Delhi, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, Punjab, Telangana and Uttar Pradesh. Now let's look at the one contributing maximum to that number really. This is Maharashtra where new high of over 16,000 daily cases has been reported and the spike has been seen in the positivity rate as well. If you look at Andhra Pradesh, over 10,000 cases have come in in the past three days. And a slight dip has been seen, however, in the infection rate. To Karnataka, where the spike in daily cases is the fourth worst hit state. And the spike, as you can see, is a steady one. Karnataka, uh, there is seen an uh, increase in the production rate as well. That is the R factor. That is how fatal really and how infectious the virus is. If we come to Delhi, then the biggest spike has been seen in Delhi since July. The cases have been over 2,000 almost on a daily basis. And this is after Delhi saw a dip in the infection earlier. A decline, however, has come in West Bengal. Despite the numbers, the trend clearly is that West Bengal has now seen a dip in the reproduction rate. And the positivity rate, however, is also dipping with that.